Okay guys, this video is going to be talking about contraceptives. Contraceptives mean how to prevent pregnancy and also how to prevent sexually transmitted diseases, okay? So that's what we're going to talk about sometimes. Occasionally they're called prophylactives. That means to prevent, basically, something from happening. Um, do something beforehand. But um, these are the basics. Now obviously the only 100% way to prevent pregnancy is not to have sex. And if you guys are too young, you shouldn't have sex. Okay, going on, for the future, you perhaps may need this information. So the first bit of information is the birth control pill. This is one of the most common types of ways to prevent pregnancy. Okay, this is a hormonal pill that a woman takes once a day to prevent pregnancy. It's 91% effective, meaning most of the time, 91% of the time, if it's used, for, used correctly, it will be effective. Now, um, it can also help make period cramps better. It's good, it can be good for your health. Um, it's been shown to, um, if you take it for a certain amount of years, it has been shown to prevent cancer of the ovaries and uterus. Um, it's been shown to sometimes make bones stronger, it sometimes helps acne, those sort of things, but there are some problematic things for being on a hormonal birth control pill for a long period of time. So check that with your doctor. Okay, the main thing about birth control pills is really easy to forget them. If you forget them, it's not effective and it takes about a month to be effective again. Another thing about it is if you take antibiotics, it causes the birth control pill to no longer be effective for a couple weeks, a month or more. So that is one of the ways women tend to get pregnant with a birth control pill is um, they use it incorrectly um, or they forget about, about taking one dose or um, they take antibiotics. So those are the things that happen. What it does is it makes hormones like the ones that occur, occur naturally in a woman's body. It kind of tricks a woman's body into thinking that it's already pregnant so that it can't get pregnant again. Um, it does not do anything to protect against sexually transmitted diseases or infections or HIV or AIDS. Um, so it mainly prevents pregnancy by stopping ovaries from releasing an egg each month um, or having it um, implant into the uterus. Pills very safe in general um, for most people. Once again, talk to your doctor. Okay, um, oftentimes they look like that little drawing there. Okay, going on. This is a very, very, very ineffective, really bad way to prevent pregnancy. It doesn't work very often. It's not a legitimate method. It's called withdrawal. <clears throat> um, it's better than no birth control. Um, free, always available. Um, can be more effective than people think sometimes, but it's not really a birth control method. It's another word for pulling out. That means at um, before a man ejaculates into a woman's body, he pulls out and ejaculates outside in a different Place so that the sperm does not get into the woman's body. Um, the problem with that is if there is any semen near the woman's genitals, sperm is motile, meaning it can move. So it can, if it's anywhere near a woman's genitals, can migrate into the woman and cause a pregnancy. Also, there's something called pre-ejaculate, which um, right before ejaculation, there is some fluid that comes out that can have sperm in it. Um, and this one says it does not contain sperm. It does contain a little bit sometimes. So it is generally not a legitimate method. Um, it does a little bit lower the chance of getting HIV and STDs, but really it doesn't protect against that at all. Bad form of birth control, don't do not do it because it's not a good way to prevent pregnancy or STDs or AIDS. Okay, going on. 
the patch. A patch is what it says. Basically, it is a um, piece of material, a, a small beige color patch that sticks to a woman's skin. Um, it has hormones in it like the woman, like um, the pill, occur naturally in a woman's body. Um, so basically, the, a woman puts a new patch on once a week for three weeks in a row, row and has one week without a patch, which mimics the same thing a birth control pill does as well. Birth control pill has three weeks of hormones and one week n no hormones. And it's actually 91% effective as well. Um, it's pretty convenient. You don't have to worry about forgetting um, a dose every day. Um, you can still take showers, swim, play sports, etc with the patch, but it once again does nothing to protect, protect against STDs or HIV. And it does the same thing with hormonally um, that I talked about before with um, preventing pregnancy. It's very safe, um, but once again, hormones that are artificial going into your body is something you want to think about and talk to your doctor about. And you need to go to the doctor to get a patch. It looks Kind of like a little square that you put on your back or your side or your things like that. Okay, morning after pill. This is plan B. Not technically a birth control method. What it is, is a emergency um, pill that sometimes people can take if they had unprotected sex. If they take this pill, it would cause a... Um, this the a fertilized egg not to get implanted into the u uterus is 98 89 percent effective depending on how soon it's taken after unprotected sex um it's similar hormone it's um more effective the sooner it's taken um, there's still a chance of preventing pregnancy if it's taken up to five days after having sex intercourse um it does not cause a, an abortion, but if Plan B doesn't work, it won't harm a woman's pregnancy. Um, you can buy it from a drugstore. If you're under 16, you need to get it from a clinic or a doctor's office. Once again, it's been medically proven safe. does not protect against STDs or HIV or anything like that. Um, once again, good idea, just not to have sex. Um, there we go. IUD is another form of contraception. Um, this one, there's one called the Marina IUD. What it is, it is a small T-shaped object that goes inside the women's uterus. It's very safe for most women. Um, it's, um, after the initial, um, doctor placing it in there they tend to really like like it because it's very convenient prevents pregnancy for up to five years 99.2 percent effective this is one of the most effective contraception con types of contraception so it there's two types there's one that has a <laughs> hormone that's some basically a similar hormone to the pill and it's slowly released into the woman's body um, they also have one that's not form, that's not hormonal. Um, it has some, it has copper, which also, um, helps prevent pregnancy. It does the same thing. It does not prevent against STDs or HIV. Um, IUD prevents pregnancy by slowing down sperm and making it hard for sperm to get into the woman's cervix. Very safe. Um, doctor has to put it in and take it out. Goes in through the vagina through a small tube. The sides of the T, it's shaped like that, and the hand right there, um, collapse into a straight line, and when it goes into the body, it opens up, and there's a string that goes down. So when it's removed, the doctor pulls the string, the sides go down, and then it is removed. It doesn't poke the woman's body, it should cause no problems whatsoever in general. So, a lot of women are very, very happy with this. It's 99.2% effective. So that works really well. Other thing is something called a vaginal ring. 
very effective when used correctly. It is very similar to all the other types of hormonal contraception, like the pill or the patch. Um, it's convenient. You only need to do something once a month. It's helpful for women with heavy or painful periods. It's called Nuva, Nuva Ring. It's a soft, soft, flexible plastic ring. It's about two inches wide. It's put, a woman puts the ring inside her vagina. It stays there for three weeks. It doesn't hurt. She shouldn't be able to feel it. Um, hormones similar to the ones that occur naturally in the woman's body. Very effective when used correctly. Does not prevent, I guess, STDs or HIV. Um, and same, re same way it prevents um, pregnancy with the pill and the other ones, it does the same thing. Very safe. Once again, you need to get it from a doctor. Once again, you need to decide whether you are not you um, want to use um, a hormonal form of birth control. Okay, implant is something else. It is similar. It is a hormonal way of contraception. Um, same thing with the pill and the new ring and the patch, etc. Very convenient, basically. Prevents pregnancy for up to three years. It's a soft tube that go goes under the skin in a woman's upper arm. Very safe. Um, hormone is slowly released out of the tube into the body. The doctor has to place it. Um, very, um, it's ninety nine point five percent effective, which is, means it's the most effective form of birth control. But a woman can get pregnant as soon as she has it implant taken out. Same thing with the um, IUD, which I did not mention. That does not prevent protect against any sexually transmitted diseases um, so it's very safe but once again you have to weigh that um, with your doctor so it's placed in the arm where the picture shows pretty simple depot shot is another thing it's a shot hormonal shot you can you need four shots a year 94% um, effective put in the arm or hip and does not protect, protect against STDs, HIV, um, very safe. You have to go to the doctor to get the shot. Um, male condom. It's very good at preventing pregnancy, STDs, and HIV, but it is only 82% effective. All the other forms were up in the 90s, except, of course, for the um, withdrawal and, I believe, the... Um, morning after pill but it is one of the most easy ways easy forms of birth control to get you just buy them at the store um, they're very thin like very strong gloves worn of the keenest to catch the semen so the semen does not um, get out and fertilize an egg it's used by ro unrolling it over an erect penis um, tip of the condom should be squeezed to push out any air so that there's room for the semen when the male ejaculates. Um, so people use lubricants to make it feel better during sex. When a male puts his penis, pulls his penis outside of his partner's body, must hold the condom at the base of the penis so it won't slip off and spill semen. Condoms only used once and then thrown away. They are very good at preventing a lot of forms of STDs and HIV when used correctly. Um, with condom used with another form of birth control makes it even more effective use against pregnancy, especially if a condom breaks, which happens occasionally. They come in vinyl or polyurethane. If a person has a latex allergy, there's no age requirement to buy condoms. There is something else, else called a um, female condom that goes inside a woman's body. Um, and that is also has about the same effectiveness. You cannot use a male condom and a female condom at the same time. Um, the female condom go, protects against a larger part of a woman's body than a male condom does. And um, once again, you cannot use a male and female condom together because they will break. So um, those are the different types of contraception. Once again, wisest way to prevent pregnancy and disease is not to have sex, and that's it.